Gerhard Richter uses a tool he invented himself to spread the paint, then scratch it off and create new structures. The method is always the same. Chance is part of the creative process. What is this? Somehow, the tools do what they want. I would have done it differently. More colorful. Richter works alone. So the presence of a camera team for five months was an experiment for him too. He gave director Corinne Belz a free hand under one condition, that he could see the movie before its premiere in Cologne. What do you think of the film? Good. Good. What makes it so special? Because it's so boring. It's so quiet and unassuming. It's great. What attracted you to making this film? It's similar to exhibitions. You want to show what you do. Corinne Belt shot the film at irregular intervals for a few hours at a time. But that was almost too much for the artist. Her dogged yet unintrusive style resulted in some unique insights. The critical way he looks at his pictures and looking at his pictures with him, that's what I found the most interesting. The film shows Gerhard Richter painting a series of abstract works in 2009 for a New York exhibition. He works on more than one picture at once and is constantly questioning them. It can take weeks before he's happy with the result. He once said it was impossible to talk about the act of painting. So the movie gets by with almost no commentary about the artistic process. We had conversations because we were there. We didn't pretend that we weren't, and he didn't do that either. That's a good way of dealing with it. Representational or abstract, grey or colourful, abrupt changes in style are part of Richter's stylistic vocabulary. He has exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums, and his works fetch the highest prices of any German living artist. His paintings can sell for millions of euros at auction. His creative reclusiveness is what distinguishes him from other contemporary artists. The film documents times of crisis as well. It won't work. It won't work? Well, I can't use that. It would be wrong. What would happen if you did use that on the painting? Then it would be ruined. Exaggerated if I put that on it. Lacking inspiration? Sure, that wouldn't be the problem, but... Richter almost cancelled the film because the camera irritated him, but the director kept returning to the studio, which is usually only open to Richter's creative assistants. Will they be painted over? Yes, if they don't make the grade. They have to wait here. In a few weeks it'll be okay. They'll have made it. Yes, put it on the wall, whether it gets painted over or not. In the documentary, Richter remarks he'll quit once there's nothing left to do. Over the course of the 90-minute film, Corinne Belt shows the process Gerhard Richter goes through before a work is ready to be shown. She managed to capture the mood well over time. She can only show it in a shortened version. But it's very quiet, very peaceful, and it moves very slowly. What impressed you most? My boss's openness and his humor. He has a special quality in that he shows this stillness which is inherent in painting and which sometimes must surround a painting. I like that. 
Gerhard Richter painting provides a unique glimpse into the creative mind of one of the world's top contemporary artists.